Hello everybody, I am the legal lock picker and today I have an American lock. It is a, uh, an American combination lock that uh, you use a dial, dial to put in the combination. Uh, <laughs> I haven't used these locks since I was in high school. Um, uh, on the back of the lock here it says Chicago USA uh, each lock has its own um, I don't know if you can see that but each lock has its own individual identification number which leads me to believe that these locks are from in a school of some sort um, I actually received these locks because I purchased a lot of them on eBay uh, I was looking for locks that I could buy in a, a larger quantity and this is the cheapest thing I could get at the time uh, they were $13.99 without combinations in this box or a box of nine or you could spend the extra three dollars and get them with combinations so obviously I took without and my original intent was to uh, pick the back because each of these locks uh, they come with um, keyholes right so my intent was to pick those locks pick the back of these to get some practice on um, however when I got these I noticed that when I went to pick it and I stuck my tools in stuff like that I couldn't figure out why I didn't feel any pins so I you know I couldn't feel anything up couldn't feel anything down so I put them away until today and I am going to do a quick video on how easy they are to pick uh, these are old I do know they uh, the gentleman said that they could possibly be 20 years old uh, so that's a little old so I went online and I checked out and they said they're two in uh, the actual body itself is two inches it says hardened steel uh, body width is an inch and seven eighths and it does say that in order to get a key for this you have to have a control key registration so I guess if you wanted to get uh, a key to open these you would have to have some sort of registration or something like that because you could potentially open all of them with a master key I I, I would imagine something like the TSA does so um, before we get into this I am going to pick a, a winner of the giveaway uh, originally, I was going to wait for a hundred or two hundred subscribers, but I, I thought it was very I thought it was imperative that the people who were here uh, first are the ones who should be eligible for this particular giveaway. Okay, so uh, in the next day or so, I'm going to take the people who have subscribed uh, since video uh, or excuse me commented from video 10, 11, and 12. Possibly tomorrow's 13, and then I'm going to take all the people who commented, um, and I'm going to pick a random number, and that's how we're going to get the uh, the giveaway done. So if you like, if you um, share, that's going to be important, and subscribe and comment. Um, you are definitely going to be in in for the giveaway. So make sure you do that. Uh, I plan on doing whatever I can do I am going to give a I'm going to email you try to get your information if you're interested just uh, send your uh, address back and I'll send you one of those James Bond uh, picking cards uh, I can even throw away a couple of these um, and I think I do have uh, a couple of brand new well, not a couple, but a brand new lock in there. Some card padlock. Um, I'm also going to throw in one of these. Uh, and whatever I can do, so hopefully you can enjoy this as much as I do. You can enjoy picking locks as much as I do. Because it's just 
it's such an inc one it's an incredible community and two it's very challenging it really is and then when you hear that click at the end it's just a good feeling so go ahead like subscribe do that um, comment 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 uh, and let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions or anything like that and my next prize I'm just gonna give you a little heads up my next giveaway is gonna be um, on a logo uh, for the legal lockpicking logo uh, like a watermark or something for the channel or custom pick or something like that I'm not exactly sure but uh, all right anyway back to the lock so okay so what we're gonna do is this one looks good um, I'm gonna take this lock and the best way that I have figured to tension this and I know it seems a little seems a little crazy but if you know you do what you have to do um, I'm gonna take this right here it's normally top of the keyway tension bar right there's a reason why I'm using this you see those serrations well that's what I want to use to get a grip here um, so and the tool that I'm gonna use here is it kinda of looks like a I'm not really sure what that shape is but that's what we're gonna use so we're going to use a little bit of tension here. We're going to stick this tool in. Um, uh, and we're going to push. So I'm going to start at the top here. And see, the reason why I'm using this tool is because I can reach past, uh, reach past this here. And I can still push these, uh, I guess, this warded, uh, the warded pins here right so after I hear a click then I know it's time to move to the other side so okay let's oh there we go okay so then we are going to move can't fit in there yet okay so then we're going to move back to this side until we hear another click okay got that so then we're going to move back here Okay, so I'm having a trouble reaching um, this side. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got that. So I'm going to go over to this side again. Okay. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this other tension bar I have here, I'm going to stick it in here, and I'm going to transfer the tension, right? So I'm going to take out the top of the keyway bar here, and I understand there are uh, easier tools and better tools, but let's just go with what we've got. So I've transferred tension, right? So now, uh, now it's wide open here, and I just have to go down, go one, two, three, four right nothing okay so we're gonna go back to this gonna take it good now we're transferring tension now it's very important that you don't lose that tension and you'll start over so we're gonna do the same thing one two three and then four still doesn't want to open okay we're gonna move tension back to the bottom we're gonna take that out and we're gonna the same thing here it's very, very important. Okay, one, two, three, four. Nothing yet. Okay, we're going to start up here. Take that one out. Transfer it. Nope. 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 Okay, wait a minute here. Okay, see, I know it looks like number three is stuck in there, so I'm going to try to use the back end of the tool to get it. 
Uh, I might actually have to switch the tool here because for whatever reason uh, the backside of okay so we're still getting we're still getting problems there okay so all right I need to transfer the tension that way I could take that off okay gonna use this again all right one. Oh. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Uh, if we don't get it this time around, I think what I'll have to do is switch the tool because I am having a little bit of difficulty here uh, getting the bottom of Uh, no, I'm still nothing. Okay, so. Okay, so, alright. Gonna give it one more shot here, and then I'm gonna try a different tool. <laughs> uh, oop, okay, so, one, two, three four alright so as you can see I'm having a little bit more difficulty uh, than I thought I was gonna have uh, one of the problems that I oh I let go of the tension so so one of the problems I can see that I'm having here is not being able to use the tensioning tool and having to reset the tension every time uh, we, we start. So, and that's going to be a huge problem. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to get a different pick. And uh, here we go. Here's what we're going to use. We're going to use this pick. All right, here we go. We'll try it this way. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck. Uh, okay, so here we're gonna start, and we're gonna do the same thing here. Once, once I can two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, nothing yet, so we'll go back over. Okay, see, I already see there's... There's that old problem again. Okay, ready? One. See, at the first time I hit one, see how much it dropped? Okay. So we're gonna, we gotta go back to two. Let's go back to three. Okay. There we go. Ah. Okay, so you can see that if you've got the right tool and you push them in properly, they open a lot better. But these are old locks, and I do understand that sometimes they're not perfect. So this is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So um, if you like what you saw, um, just hit subscribe and comment and thumbs up. Uh, so I will see everybody later. Have a good day.